خف زاينه دابا عربيه ايوا وي ار ان سيفر شاري اورا وي ار وي ار جوينغ تو ون اوف ذا مين نيمز اوف ذا مالخوت الشخينه الدوشه ذا كينج شيب اوف هاشم اند ون اوف ذا مين نيمز اوف ذا كينج شيب اوف هاشم Um, if you pay attention to all the names that we have of Hashem, all these different a- attributes, their characteristics, right? Their ways in which Hashem reveals Himself, midas. right? Their midas, bid you, right? They're not nouns, they're verbs, they're, they're midot. It's just the, the descriptions of Hashem. Unlike the Goyim, where they say, no, Hashem is someone else. It's like, He splits into a different entity. Hashem is one Hashem. And he reveals himself to different ways. Why do we want Hashem to reveal himself to different ways? Or how are we going to interact with him? Correct? <coughs> the Mikubal knows how to see Hashem through everything. He'll look at a chair and he'll see Hashem. Not that the chair is Hashem. He sees the revelation of Hashem in, even in a chair. Especially if he sees a Jew, which is a secret of after the Kamocha. Let's look at this next name of Hashem. It's, it's one of the most important ones. As we're getting to Elul, And uh, uh, I want to teach you guys this Elul, a Yichud, a meditation, which is one of the most important meditations. The Rebbe Daftaya, which is your side, is next Tuesday night. He writes that if a person knows how to do this meditation, if many people would know how to do this, constantly, this meditation of Hashem's name, they would bring the Giyula. That name was Elul. Nah, that's, <laughs> this, that's just, uh, that's just one close. point. That's the cause of the whole meditation. You have to know. How do I take it from the top to the bottom? Laila Tov, see you 6.30 with the other channel. God be with you. Baruch Hu Mevorach Shemot Amid Olam Vaid. So it says over here, so that's called the Yehud Yudin Vavavin, the Yuds and the Vavs. The Yuds and the Vavs. We're going to learn, we're going to this Elul, during the whole Elul, you can make this Yehud during the whole 40 days. Usually you could do it, huh? Yeah, usually you could only do this Yichud after midnight or on Shabbat after the Seuda. It's a very special time, by the way. If you ever want to etra to daven to Hashem, after you finish Seuda Shabbat, the night, it's an etra zon in Shammai. It's an etra zon. Not Seuda Shashi. So she's also an etra zon. But already there's a big etra zon from Friday night. Already. Already there's a big. Yeah. yeah. After Rekha Damazon. Even the point is that even before midnight, that's the chidush. Usually, night before midnight is a din. But on Shabbat, once you finish the seuda, an et ratzon get, uh, gets open in Shemay. That's why many tzaddikim used to be machbed to do <coughs> slicha so that Shabbat early in the night. Yeah, Shabbat, I mean, if I have uh, Shabbat like night, there's no dinim on Shabbat. That's why there's no chidush. But no. That's the problem. It's not there's no dinim. You're making it that there's no, no dinim. No, but Shabbat by itself. So you're no doing it. You're pilot. Not Shabbat by itself? Shabbat itself is very special, but let's say it's Shabbat and we're Michalel Shabbat. So that's not uh, the Lord. Yeah, yeah. But if I mean, we create Midah Zot Tzedek. This Midah, Abraham, is called Tzedek. Right? Just uh, Chav Vav and the Bar. Chav <laughs> I believe in Chav Vav and the Bar, no? Oh, Chav Zayn and the Bar. Sticha. If I mean, When this Mida, which is called Malchut, characteristic of, of the Malchut of Akadosh Baruch Hu, suckles, we said when it suckles, when it sucks, we're in Chav. So if you guys are killing it, this Mida is sometimes called a Cherev. We went from Tzedek to Mishpat to Cherev. Wow. Uh, so the Rosh Hashanah of, t- of Tzedek, Mishpat and Cherev is Tzemach. One of Mashiach's names is Tzemach. Tzemach, Tzemach David. Tzemach so we should bring the uh, Tzemach David. If I mean Nikret Cherev, sometimes this uh, Midah is called a Cherev. What's a Cherev? A sword. No Kemet Nekam Brit. Whoever does Pegama Brit, the Malchut comes to take the revenge. This is in this Midah takes the revenge through the Malchut. Did you hear the video that I sent you? No. I actually it was a favor. I, I got you the duck sauce. Where did the cherev? Where did this cherev usually reside? Where was it in, in full gilu in Yerushalayim? In Yerushalayim, Miaser Yisrael always brings Yisurim. Wow, Torah Shema always gives Yisurim to Yisrael. That means if you mess up in Yerushalayim, the Yisurim are quick to come. You can't mess up in Yerushalayim. What do you mean by mess up in Yerushalayim? 
Averot, if you go over it's in the Averot of the Brit. And you live in Yerushalayim, the Yisurim are, are close to Then don't tell me, oh, I see people. You don't know what goes on in people's lives. Trust me, you don't know anything. A lot of people have Yisurim. Interestingly, in Bnei Brak, there's a lot of, uh, at least in heart in the heart attack region, they're the highest in the world of most congested city and at least heart attacks. You know that? Yeah. Interesting statistic. Interesting to see what Yerushalayim is. When the Dayana Kavua Ledi, Shaitan Miyaseri Totam, when the went through the Malchut Hashem would give you Surim, Shaitan Goamim Chavotem, Shaim Hatotam, Achukan Tzadikim. Well, the whole point of the Yisurim is to turn them back to the Tzadikim. So once she would, the Malchut, the Midah of Malchut, would exact the Yisurim, you would turn to a Tzadik right away. Even though you yourself, it's like a mikveh, even though you yourself, you, you still even fix your Midah, but as you are right now, you're a Tzadik. So therefore, when a person gets Yisurim, automatically, what does that mean? You are at that moment? A tzaddik. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a etratzon. So this is this is you saying God saying, all right, I'm forgiving you at that moment. At that so moment, you you you're you're, fr you're fresh right now. What you do from this doesn't mean that you change. But what if some people self inflict isurim? That's what we do exactly in Shalavim time. We fast. It's exactly what we do. People do malkut to themselves. Wear sackcloth every midnight. Oh, do, or don't eat during the day. You understand? Or don't eat something that they really like. All these things are self-inflicting Yisurim for the point is not to wait till the Kherev no Kemet Nekam Brit. We do it to ourselves to clean ourselves before the Kherev comes down, which is the Malchut. And if you say you should, what, what, what he's saying over here is that you're never gonna get what you want. This is what he's saying over here. You're never gonna get what you want, says the Sha'ari Ora. You're gonna get what you need at that moment. For your destiny, you understand what I'm saying? You're never gonna get what you want. Don't don't push off. Don't So if Hashem sends you something, that means that's, that's what it is. It's like you're not gonna get anything better. Uh, I know right that is the one that uh, you don't know. You're not a problem. You should know one thing. Uh, the more you who asks <laughs> these kind of questions? <laughs> <laughs> Are you think Shema Yisrael or something? Shema Yisrael. You should know one thing. What is he saying over here? He's saying, in Avodat Hashem. Always you have to, and, but everything is Avodat Hashem, really. You always have to put on the most name, is what I'm doing now, Avodat Hashem. You're never going to run away from your destiny. That's what he's trying to say over here. Because the Malachut is always out to get you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? The Malachut, it means you can't change your destiny. You could change how much Olam Haba you're going to get. But either doing the mitzvah or doing it in an era. But you're not going to change your destiny. Go. And here's the crazy thing over here. Does your destiny include your wife? Of course. Yeah. No, I'm saying like... The that is the destiny. It's the destination. That's what yeah. some woman's name. Her name is destiny. Her her name? Name? Mahfoud is your wife, you mean, right? The Mahfoud is your wife. But, but but that's why she say, always has the cherub. Some woman's name, that's the name. That's why she always has a cherub. People say, oh, she's not my type. She's not this. She's not this. They change her. How she's your wife and not your type? She's your wife already, bro. No, I'm saying that what happens to him, then she changes him. That's what some woman named her. The name, no, the name, the destiny. Yeah. You're, right. you're right. sorting something. What? I'm changing. Destiny. <laughs> yes. destiny. Then she changes him. You're never going to change your destiny. That's the secret. You're never going to get anything better. Because if you have to get a Yusurim, mm -hmm. you're going to get it. Either it's this way or it could be surgery. You pick which one. Kidney Which stones. way? Huh? Kidney stones are the big Yisurim, yeah. Therefore, when the rabbi says, this is the secret. Not, I just wanted to say in my shiur, but we had some new guys over there. I had a very interesting guy to my right. So, uh, he was like, uh, you know, like, he's in my ear, all that kind of stuff. So, when well, say you're in the, you're in the shul, and the rabbi's taking five extra minutes for Shimon Do you do? Those, you're used to it already. Yeah. <laughs> and the five minutes that you're waiting, it's, it's like burning you inside. That's Yisurim. I can count that as Yisurim? Yeah, you can count it. It is Yisurim. And, and you're not and, saying anything about it. What about waking up for Sikhoa? How about if I'm oh, I'm waking early for Shahari. It's Yisurim. You understand? I stay up uh, to say Tikkun Hatzot. It's Yisurim. I'm taking away. 
See, that's what your problem is. What you're looking for all for not all, all or nothing. That's what you're looking for. No, it's no, either no, all no, or nothing. Listen this. to me. No, you don't have to enjoy. Why? That's the way that you've been learning until been learning until now. Let me teach you a different way now. Let me teach you a different way now. Any <laughs> <laughs> this this guy had the uh, he had the whole uh, thing. Any time you suffer in life, that takes away every amount of chas v'shalom mamash yisurim that throws down. Which means if you overly enjoy yourself in life, you know what's gonna come. You know what's coming for you. It's always gonna be mida keneged mida. That's why the tzaddikim. They never wanted to overly enjoy themselves. So never. Why? What? So, do, I, do you have to do, you have to look at yourself as a soldier. Does a soldier one day get up in the army and say, um, now it's time to take a vacation. No, the general says, right now it's time to do this, he's gonna do it. Until he gets a leave of absence. You are, a, you're, there's nothing wrong with it in the way we grew up, but what I'm teaching you right now is there is something wrong with it. Because you're a soldier in Hashem's army. So let's, say you, let's say your kid wakes up in the middle of the night and you have to change his diaper. You have to, and you're the one who woke up. You have to get up and change the diaper. It's a calling for you at that moment. And if somebody goes and makes fun of you, you're not allowed to answer back. That was designed specifically to be said to you at that moment. That's your Yusurim. If you answer back, where did the Yusurim go to? to uh, you have to go do through it again. Now what happens if you push off the Yusurim, you push the small ones, you push them off, you push them off, push them off, what happens then? You get sick. Boom. You get sick. Big so what happens? We run to the doctor. Now running to the doctor is also a form of Yusurim. A checkups, this, that, bam, bam, bam. And that's how you get healed. It doesn't, it doesn't help. You're still pushing it off. You still think Kochiv Otsimi then Hashem gives you the real punch. It's like a guy. He's a hippie. He grows his hair long, he doesn't take a shower. There was a study done a couple of years ago that people who don't take showers for a long time, uh, they're healthier. There was a study yeah. done like this. So this guy, he doesn't take a shower and he's on the phone, he's walking outside and uh, I don't know, Williamsburg with all the hippies and they're all like with their stashes. And suddenly he's on the phone, he's high. Somebody comes behind him. Hey, how are you? Gives him one, and he's a hippie, so he's all skinny and stuff, you know. He's all loy like that, and he smacks him right in the back. The guy flies seven meters in the air. He looks up. He says, "Dad, he says, Dad, Dad, what are you doing? I don't know. I should be happy. Should I laugh or should I cry?" So his dad looks at him. I tell you, I don't know either. Should I laugh or should I cry? Look at you. Sometimes Hashem, when He sees you, and you're all full of averot. Like a hippie and you're all this and that. It's not enough just to tell you hello. Sometimes to wait to get you out of your get you out of your stupor. He has to give you a shot so hard you're gonna fly. You're like, what that what just happened over here? Suddenly you see this doesn't work out for me, that doesn't work out for me, this is not happening. And you, but you think you're at You're you're Eliyahu Hanavi. You're, uh, you just came out of the the belly of the Yonah, the 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 the, 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 fish, the fish just spit you out. You're Yonah Navir. No, our voice. If Hashem gives you Yisurim, remember it's all for a reason. You don't. None of us here have Yisurim Shel Ava. There's no such kind of thing. None of us here have Yisurim Shel Ava. A person who thinks he has Yisurim Shel Ava, judgments of love. That means Hashem is only punishing you to make you. Higher Olam Habba. That means if he thinks like that on himself, he's the he's the biggest person that he's swimming for Averot. Is it at a high level in Munah? You go through a swing like I say, Hashem did it for me to come to to wake me up to come closer to him. Yeah, no? that's exactly what I'm saying. No, so that's for Abba. That's you know, not Yisurim Shel Abba. That's not Yisurim Shel Abba. That's not Yisurim Shel Abba. That's not Yisurim Shel Abba. What's an example? of Yisurim Shalava is when you put your hand inside your pocket to get a quarter and you came out with a nickel. That's Yisurim Shalava. What if you had that? You have a bad wife, that's Yisurim Shalava? That's not Yisurim Shalava. No, the Gain the one. Any person that knows is in Russian, we say Greshini. He knows as Yisurim Shalava. Okay, so let's say you do something wrong, you shouldn't be okay, Hashem say Hey, everything is for an Avera. You, you want it to be like that. If you're a tzaddik, why would you want it not to be like that? 
Don't you want the cleansing? Yeah, you can. Sure. Imagine you have to fast six days a week. You want that? No. You don't want that. We barely handle Tisha B'Av and Yom Kippur. Right? So don't uh, the Yisurim come be happy. Like I said, the guys, uh, if only he would have hit me twice as hard. That's why when Yom Kippur comes, you do the Malkut, this, that. He's like, oh, amazing stuff. Now Elul is coming, Rabbi Isa. I'm, I'm preparing you guys. We're making the Ta'anit after Rosh Chodesh. Uh, the two days after Rosh Chodesh Elul are two big days of making a Ta'anit. It's a big Ethraton in Shaman when the 48 gates are open. 48 specific gates are open. What day of the Elul? Two day, uh, day after Rosh Chodesh. Two days after Rosh Chodesh. Two days after Rosh Chodesh. So what day is that come out? So That's not three. That's Give me the three. calendar. Lua. Your father wants to say the calendar that was right. All right. Kulua. Kalandra. It's third uh, Tuesday. So, oh, it's amazing, amazing. So, uh, exactly Monday, uh, Monday, Tuesday is gonna be uh, two days after Rosh Chodesh. Monday, uh, uh, Elias, you're here? Monday, Tuesday is gonna be Rosh Chod, uh, after Rosh Chodesh. Those two days, says the Ariya Kadosh, opening up all the gates of the Kel, Rachum, Vechanun, Erech, Apayim, Reb Chesed, Le'emet. I'm planning on doing those two days, uh, Ta'ani, not both days, only one day we're gonna do. I'm thinking uh, Monday. So we're gonna come out of the Tanit, we're gonna make over here our Shi'ur. We're gonna break the Tanit with our Shi'ur. And then we're gonna do over here uh, Tikkun and Niftarim that day. Wow. Why not? Huh? Not usually. We'll set it up, I don't know. I wanna, I wanna do one more Tikkun and before that night, before the year comes out. Anyways, <coughs> yeah, I wish you could say. So the Malchut is also called Tzedek. Why she gova men pishem? She takes their pishaim, the averot, umitzdeket otam, and makes them clean. Vezehu shamar vechol shiomar shachen chaliti yama yeshev ba nosei avon. Purusha pasuk azeh al yermu anashim ashkim yishalayim lama anu cholim tayu yisuri. Person who lives in Yerushalayim, don't ever think, well, how come I'm suffering in my life? I'm poor, I'm this, I'm that. That's the Yisurim in, your, in Yerushalayim. It's coming to make you clean. So that means a person who wants to live a very fruitful and uh, pure Olam Haba, where does he have to put his next zip code? Israel. Yerusha, not Israel. Yerushalayim. Yerushalayim. Wait, you can't go to Israel and do the same thing? Or the do you, know, wait, you just missed the whole thing we said? Talk to him, please. The Beit Din Tzedek, because the Beit Din Tzedek of, of uh, Lamalai is always over there. It's always working, the Beit Din. Constantly, the spiritual beating is always working in Yerushalayim. Huh? No. Oh, listen, I'm gonna, listen, I'm gonna tell you something. <clears throat> my rabbi once told me this. My rov, my rebbe, he once told me one guy, <laughs> Masha, <laughs> don't ask me the book I'm reading. <laughs> he was in a. Um, he was in a boat, Gabriel, and he keeps on asking the captain, what way is Yerushalayim? In the morning, he asks, boy, it doesn't, ah, it's over there. He goes down. It's afternoon, Gabriel, Yisurim, wake up. He says, where is Yerushalayim? <coughs> he says, I just told you, it's this way. Arabi, so you're making fun of me over here? I'm going to ask you, where is Yerushalayim? Where is Yerushalayim? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, the captain, Capitan. Capitan. We do El Capitan. If the in uh, we Jews we dive in Gabriel to Yerushalayim, where I call it, towards Yerushalayim, east. We gotta know where the east is. So the captain says, Ah, you Jews, Haikar is the how do you say in Russian? Serta, Serta. I'm coming over here in the live, live, live. So the so the what is the Jew tells the captain, El Capitan. He tells him, you know what, you're right. It's everything is in the live. Do me do yourself a favor. Don't uh, steer the let the heart do the, it. Yeah, let the heart do it. The heart is gonna steer the ship. It's gonna steer by itself. That's the mashal. The name Shal, you can't say in life. Everything ah, it's in the heart, it's in the heart. You have to know which way to direct your tefilot. Because if not, you know where your tefilot is gonna go up from? The wax museum in New York. And trust me, you don't want your tefillah to go through the wax. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, eh? 
And believe me or not, I just heard of a rabbi that was fired from his post because he wanted to fulfill the halakha of making the hechal in the right spot. Unbelievable. Mitzvah! The man Hashem. I, when I daven, this is the east. This is the, we're lucky over here. You know, 71st who also has this problem. Their hechal is not in the east. Their hechal is in the south, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> it's in the right, the main shul, the main shul. Upstairs is in the right spot. Uh, so when I, when, when I daven, I steer a little bit to the southeast. A little bit to the, to, why? Because the Sefer HaAruch says when you, ste when you steer a little bit, you're in east. You have to steer to the east. When you go to the east, to the southeast, you want to take from the Chokhmah. To have wisdom. El Capitan. But when you go to the northeast, you're a little bit to the left, you want to get the Parnasa. So, so if you say in the middle, north? you get both? <laughs> north is this way. If you say in the middle, you get both? North is this way, huh? <laughs> no, you don't get it. Yeah, you don't get it. Don't be a, don't be a Chokhmalog. <laughs> don't be a, over here, uh, El Capitan. <laughs> this is El Capitan over here. El Capitanos. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone who lives in Yerushalayim They're always complaining Why well, we have so many Avon No, it's because the it's because the cherim, no, came and they come breathe Is always trying to fix them Okay, I, I, could, I don't want to swear But I'm pretty sure we did this last week uh, Gabriel, wake up Nobody lives in Yerushalayim and sleeps overnight with an Avera. Yeah, wow. What is that? Wow, wow, wow. So it means you're getting cleaned every day. Oh, the Yusurim uh, no. uh, no. in Yerushalayim. So I had the Zechut this past year to sleep in Yerushalayim. How many days we slept over there? Four days? Four, three days? So it's and, like, El Capitano. So huh? if you live there for a certain time, you. On that day of, on the day of, every day, it's every day, you know? oh, that, that, that day, okay. that day, uh, that day. <laughs> so if you live there, let's say, especially now that they have more issuing with the war and stuff, it's yeah, even more. Right. Yeah, those people in the south over there. <laughs> you want to go there just to wipe your sins? That's a wrong. That's not a hava. There, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna speak on this and not there's a Yerushalayim is also called Isha. Oh. No, your wife is also no, Yerushalayim. Not yeah. inside Yerushalayim. No, that means your wife is also Kherif no Kimit Nekam Brit. The rainbow hollow. She <laughs> She also <laughs> gives you a little chate, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is, this, these are you, so you should have a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he came from some Ashdod. Ashdod is from Aza. There, this is the Pishtim land. Same Ashdod. Same Ashdod, no? It's even worse, you know. Ashdod was giving you Kabza Hood. <laughs> Tel Aviv was originally Gujdan. Okay, we have where my grandmother used to live. Abu. So it's right across the... It's still bad, it's still bad. <laughs> because this Mida is the gateway to, uh, to go inside Hashem Ilbara, which is the Tiferet, the Mida of Tiferet. It pays attention between Tzadikim and Rishayim. So therefore, because the Malchut doesn't allow uh, Rishayim to go inside, Therefore, your true Badzu, you will never marry her if you're a Russia. Wow. That's the connection. That's the connection. If you're a Russia? If you're a Russia, because she's Yerushalayim. She doesn't allow you to go in if you're a Russia. What's a Russia? Russia is a person wicked. who... I know, what's considered wicked today? Should I stand up for you, Abraham Jones? Abraham John, should we stand up? <laughs> Grisha is getting you so right now. <laughs> well, what's considered a Roshan today's day? I'll be honest with you, anybody who's sitting in this room, in my eyes, is a tzaddik. 
Especially if he's wearing red shoes. Especially if he's wearing red shoes. He's wearing red shoes to meet his dad. If he had a red head. If he had a red head. Red beard. Red beard, you should have said. Red beard. But I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. Why I say you guys are tzaddikim? Right now, you're doing mitzvot? Yes or no? Yeah. You're bringing the chef of the Insof Baruch Hu? Yeah. You guys are not tzaddikim right now? Yes or no? You guys are bringing the chef of the Insof? You're not tzaddikim? Yeah. You're gonna go home, you're gonna put on the TV show, you're Rishayim at home. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes or no? Yes or no? You overcome your Yitzhahara, you open up a Gemara, you're gonna be a tzaddik? Say it. El Capitan. El Capitan. And by the way, you know what? Guys, lately I had a very bad premonition. What's a premonition? Dream? Like a feeling, feeling. So these couple of days, I've been on a crazy Tehillim reading. Oh, wow. Leaving, I don't know, like... like um, Something bad's about I don't know, like, I feel like it's... This end of the year is like Mamish uh, end of something, I don't know. Like, there's gonna be a big din, Chas Shalom, and I personally, I left all my learnings from morning till the night, till the Shkia, to Hilim. If I say finish it one time, say Shkia. But uh, tehillim, tehillim, I don't know why, it's just like uh, tzedakah, 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 tzedakah. I don't know what, I, maybe it's my personal feeling, maybe it's my own mazal that I'm feeling, I don't know. But we have to be nomatic the din. Because this year, I don't know, it was a tough year. A lot, of, a lot of things happened this year. In the world and in personal people's life, maybe I just am more with the community and I know some stuff. But there was, a, some people had it good. But uh, in general, it was a lot of deen. A lot of deen. And uh, listen, I don't know if you've ever been in a lawsuit. Hopefully, you should never be in a lot. But it's good to be in one. You know why? So you, maybe you feel a little bit what it means, Elul. What does it mean your court case is coming up? Trust me, you're going to start down. This is nothing. That's nothing. And you're still scared. What's gonna happen? May you never ever go through such a thing, a tough one at least. Any, but we gotta be mimatic the deen. And I know one thing I was taught as a young kid. There is sigulot. There is, there is, there's a million stuff, pidyon, this and that. But there's nothing above tihilim. Tihilim is gematria 150. Kimidian pidyon. Pidion, it's, it's, the, it's the redemption of your soul. You know what I don't like when people do that? Why do you do that? Like... <laughs> uh <-huh>. Wow! <laughs> you know why? No, why I gotta be little? little why gotta be little? Be little you know why I don't like that question? You know what? It's like saying like this. It's like saying like this. Um, it's Minchan right now. Why can I daven Shaharit right now? It's uh, Irish. What's wrong with Shaharit? Let's daven Shaharit and Minchan time. Why can't I wear tefillin at night? There is a time for shahari, there is a time for mincha, there is a time for ma'arif. And there is time to cry and pray? Exactly. There is a time for uh, to say tefillin, there is a time to, uh, to daven. You understand? I personally, I'm so glad that we have a minyan here, even though my tefillah is much shorter than it used to be, and sometimes I have to skip to be chazan. But, it's such a mechaya to daven with a minyan every single day early. And to wake up early, every time I wake up early, Yisurim shal kedusha v'tahara parnasa refuat Talmud Torah. And you feel alive too, like a lot, you do a lot of things. And done. since, you know, we're in that age, like we can go back to sleep after that, yeah. you know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. Like when we were younger, we would wake up early and get a snack out for the rest of the day. Now we're in like in that mind frame. And you can't go back to sleep anymore, you know what I'm saying? You're awake, you're awake, you're done. You understand? Know Let's finish the barrel. It was worth it to come for these 10 minutes? Mashi Allah. Mashi Allah. I want to all the red lights. Vaya tamid sameach, David Amelech was always happy when the Malchut was always at peace with him. 
King David. King David, yeah. Now, I want to ask you guys a question. We're going to add a little bit to the Shari Ora right now. Let's see if you guys know a little bit of Nevi'im. Uh, what did David HaMelech see at the end of his life that made him uh, institute the Me'a Brachot as a Chiyuv? What did he see in Yerushalayim? We just said, what is the Malkut called? That's the next one. Death. Death. People, people were dying. With what? A sword. A sword. What did he really see? He saw the Shekhinah HaGadoshah. What was the angel holding? A sword. That's the sword that's in Yerushalayim. No, I didn't go from Magog. He saw a sword. It was Dever. It was Dever in Yerushalayim. And he said it was Dever. It started in Yerushalayim. There was play. And he instituted Me'a Brachot at that time. That means to... What do you, if you want to be at peace with the Malchut, my mom was calling us. Mother is Bina, by the way. It's above the Malchut. Kenny, man. Could you call your father? I don't think so. The, the mother is Bina, the wife is Malchut. Yeah, the mother, she's higher, but she's in the left column, but she's very critical. So there's a lot of criticism over there. The mother in law and the mother. When the two mother in laws come together, catastrophe. Because that's the two binot. Bina, Shiva, Bina. And then you bring your wife. Then you, oh, for your Dinim. What do you do when, before you have a party? What do you do? Tzedakah. Don't bring him together. <laughs> you have yeah, to. It's a party. Don't bring, him, <laughs> don't bring him in the same room for decisions. Matik the din. I'm serious. Always. You know, you know I, I, if I could give a guarantee to anything in my life, it would be tzedakah. A guarantee to anything in my life. The year since we should have the zechut to give tzedakah to the right places. Because that's also a... Uh, it's not a push of the thing. It's not a push of the thing. So anyway, so we're adding to the Shari Ora. We're connected to the soul of Yosef Chikatilia. So let's add to the Kherev. What was the Kherev that David HaMelech saw in Yerushalayim? At the end, and then he made the Me'a Brachot. That was the sword of the Shekhinah. It's the Shekhinah itself. Huh? Oh, we're going to learn that Me'a Brachot is also the Shekhinah. Yes. Okay, give me five minutes, okay? Let's just fin let's just con let's just get to the next part of what the sh what the malchut is called, okay? Make sure we get this down because this is gonna be also it's Rosh Hashanah is coming and mishpat. What's mishpat? Uh, judgment. Whoever has a judgment, remember the judgment court case is coming from the malchut. Because what is the malchut's other name? Lefamim shu'evet midat chesed. That means when the malchut takes from uh, givura, it's called elokim. When the Malchu takes from Chesed, Umit Malet Rachamim al Israel, but Ose Din Mitzada Chesed Rachamim, who Nikra Mishpat. When the Melech Ohev, Tzedaka, Tzedek, Um Mishpat. What is, who does Hashem, what's Hashem's favorite Mida? Malchut. Remember that. Hashem's favorite Mida is the Malchut. It's the, the, the lowest one. The giver. The taker, the biggest taker. Why? Because the giver can't be a giver yeah. until there's somebody to take, until there's something to take. And so more than what the child, the parent does to the child, the child is really doing to the parent because you have the ability to give. And that's why all these Americans, this, that, that want to live a life of a uh, single, we're single, we're, we're enjoying it. That's the biggest sitra The biggest sitra why? Because Sitra Akhra can't reproduce. And what happens when you reproduce by yourself? You become the Samich Mem. What do you have to do? Find the redemption. Why? What's the difference between Galut and Giula? What's Galut? Exile. What's redemption? Giula. What's the difference between the two words? Uh, the tough, again, which is the last letter, the is really turns into the first letter, which is an Aleph. So from Galut, you turn into Goel. 
So it's really the same thing. It all depends. Esav came to Yaakov with 400 men. What's the numerical value of the letter Tav? 400. Galut. Yaakov came with the Aleph. Ba'alufos shel olam. Ga'al Yisrael. Aluf. From Galut to Goel. That's what the Rebbe used to say. The sixth Lubavitcher Rebbe. He used to say... Rebbe Rayatz. He used to say... The Gi'ula is as, we're as close to the redemption as we were a second after the Chorban Beit HaMikdash. I saw Chidush Ayat today. What was the Chidush? I said, I was learning at Sahayim, and we were getting into a, a certain sugiya over there. I said over there that uh, the biggest Chorban happened on the day of the Chorban Beit HaMikdash. What do you mean? When it, when it was actually destroyed, the Chorban was. But like right now we're living, Every day, there is a certain amount of Geula. Right. There's a certain amount of Galut. That means we get to a small point. We don't have a base Amigdash. But at the same time, Baruch Hashem, we're living, we're alive. We have money, we have kids, we're, we're producing, we have Torah, we have the Sod, we have the Gemara. Everything is, like, it goes up. It's like an accordion, right? Okay. But the, when, the, when the Chorban happened, it was the greatest uh, restriction and uh, constriction. So what was my uh, chidush? The Rebbe Rayat says we're as close to the to the to the Gi'ula the day after the Chorban as we are today. That means if Hashem wanted to bring the Gi'ula on the tenth of Av of that year, it could have happened just like it could have happened today. There's no difference. There's no difference. Uh, what's the proof? The Galut is only a matter of perspective. You could bring yourself into Gi'ula in a second. That we want to live in a big house with the maids and servants and go on vacations. That's all galut. If we change our perspective and we see it with an aleph instead of a tough, just like we learned today, when we wanted, we could have slept on the edge of a sword. We could have been one on the edge of a sword. It's an aleph. But now that we cannot, we have to live in a big house. Even 400 is not enough. It, it's too much, it's too small for the two of us. We just have to change our perspective. If it's in marriage, if it's being a boss, if it's in Parnassa, if it's in, if it's in if it's having a house, we'll change our perspective. And then we're going to have success. Even when Hashem makes us mishpat, it's in chesed and rachamim. So just remember, guys, we're in page chafchet. Uh, next, uh, next week, was it Hashem? I said next week, Monday night, we're going to have regular shiur. Tuesday night is Hilula of Rabbi Udaftai, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's not here, he's in Israel, so we're lucky. Hashem made him in Eretz Israel, so we can have the Hilula of Rabbi Udaftai over here. And therefore, we'll see you guys Monday night, and we'll see you Tuesday night.